Hi everybody, this is Mirav and this is an overview of Guru, the new learning and training system for Joomla. Guru is a very sophisticated extension that allows you to create courses online in case you want to create a, a school or a university or just start selling uh, courses. Let's go over some of the features on the front end and some of the features on the back end. We'll start with the front end. This is our learning center powered by Guru and this is the Guru homepage. As you can see, I see a list of categories and when I click, I get a list of courses in this category. And when I click on the name of the course, I get some information about this course. For example, the table of content that I can see here. I can see a description. I can see a price. And I can set up different uh, price plans for each course. I can see information about the teacher. And I can see what are the requirements for this course. Now in the table of contents, if I'm not a student and I click on a, on a lesson, I will get a box like that that's asking me to pay in order to continue uh, and uh, see the course. Now some of the lessons are available. If I click on them, I can actually see the lesson itself. And you can set up on the back end which lessons are available and which are not. Here on the right you can see that each lesson has a difficulty level based on the, you can see that the icon here is very hard and then medium hard and this one is very easy and every time I click and view a lesson the eye icon shows up this way I know that I viewed it already now if somebody wants to buy the course I'll just click on buy now and it will take them to a card and allows it to allow them to continue and check out So this is in a nutshell what's happening on the front end. Let's take a look at the back end. Here on the back end, first of all, you need to know that every section has a video tutorial in it that you can just click and see a video tutorial and that will help you to get familiar with Guru very quickly. On the right side, you can see some information like uh, news about Guru, a changelog, you can see what's happening and what's changing, you can see video tutorials, and you can also see news from uh, iJoomla and the uh, iJoomla blog with lots of good information. This is your C panel, where you can see access to uh, different sections of your uh, of Guru. Here on the left side is the uh, access to even more things in Guru, like uh, the different settings. You can see the different managers, like a student, teacher, orders, promo code, manager, and the real stuff is happening right here in the training area where you have courses and media library and quizzes. The courses allows you to create your courses and manage them. If you click on the name of the course, you can see the tree or the table of content of the course. And here everything is very easily managed because you can drag and drop different, uh, different lessons or different modules and rearrange everything. You can easily add a module just like that, you can add a lesson just like that. Inside the lessons you can see that you have different layouts. Now the orange area represents media and the gray area represents text and the question mark represents a quiz. You can also set up who can view this lesson, is it students, members or guests and you can see also that you can, manage, you can uh, set the level of the lesson. So everything is done right on the spot. For example, if you want to select a media, you just click on it, you get another model window and you can select your media and you can see it showing right here, uh, right on the spot. If you don't have a media, you can just click on new media. That means you don't have to go anywhere else to, uh, to add new media. Everything is happening right now on the fly and that's why it's very, very user friendly. Here at the bottom you can set up jump buttons so that if you want them to go somewhere else in the course you can just set up it, you can choose where you want them to go and how you want to call the jump button and it will show on the front end. So that's about uh, the courses. 
We also have a very sophisticated media library that allows you to add any type of media that you can think of, starting from um, video, audio, documents, URL, image text, and any type of files as well. And that's uh, very easy to add a media. You just click on new, you select the type, and the field here change. Now it's super sophisticated because, for example, when you choose video, you can add any type of um, delivery of the video. For example, if you want to add a video code, you can do that, or a video URL, or even if you want to upload a video, or choose from a video that have already been uploaded. So that's very, very uh, sophisticated and allows you to add uh, any type of video, not just on your server, but also on other servers. That applies to audio, to documents, to any type of media. Once you add the media here, you can add those media files or the media to uh, different lessons inside the course. And you can reuse them again and again and again if that's what you need. Quizzes allows you to create quizzes right uh, very easily so that you can test the knowledge of your uh, students. Let's open just one for example. This is when you, where you enter the course name and description and you can set up different uh, questions for this quiz. The last thing we'll talk about is the subscriptions. Subscriptions allows you to create subscription plans based on uh, time. So you can set up a subscription plan for example for one hour, for one month, one year and even unlimited access. And then you can assign the plans to different courses and you can set up the price for each plan. Let's take a look really quick. Here on the course information page you can set up which plans are available and what is the price for each plan. You can also add the renewal plan so that you can give the same course for a discount if they want to renew. Since we are here on the course page, there are also a few things that we didn't cover. For example, you can add exercise files to your course. You can choose an image and set up the meta tags and the different requirements for the course. You can even make other courses required for this course before they start it. The last thing we'll talk about is system emails. These are basically emails sent out from the Guru system and you can uh, create them easily just by clicking new using any one of the variables on top for example course name, the expiration date let's take a look at some of the emails we have here we have an email that's being sent on purchase which means as soon as they buy the course they get this email we have uh, an email that is being sent three days after the course has expired or their plan, the subscription plan has expired and uh, you can basically uh, create or edit any of those uh, emails and then on the course edit page you can choose which of those emails will be available for this course here at the bottom you can set up you can check the ones that you want uh, to have active for this particular course so this is it, this is how uh, the Guru backend looks like. There's a lot more going on here with different settings and different ways to control layouts and uh, style and the progress bar that you have on the courses. Uh, by the way, let's take a look at one thing on the front end. If you are on the front end and you click on the lesson, here on top you'll have navigation. You see this is next, refresh and back. and of course they can always go home and this is the progress bar that uh, they can see what the progress they're making uh, as far as how many modules they're in and lessons. So this is it, I think we covered most of the basics of Guru and there are plenty of other videos that go into detail of each one of those uh, features. Thanks for watching!